Today we'll be looking at a brief or short review on solubility. What is the solubility of a salt or a substance? Solubility of a substance is the measure of the extent in which that substance can dissolve in a given solvent. Remember this, there are different types of solvents. Water is a solvent for some sorts. Alcohol is also a solvent for some substances. Cyclohexane is also a, a, a solvent. There are different solvents that can be used to dissolve solids. Let's take for instance water. If I want to dissolve a solid cube of sugar, this is a cube of sugar. Inside one liter of water, for instance, the total quantity, the total mass of this cube of sugar that can saturate one liter of this at a given temperature is the solubility of that sugar at that point. See what we're talking about. Let's take for instance, you are hungry for instance, and you are presented with a some place of food. Let's assume 10 places of food were served before you when you are hungry and you are asked to eat freely. You start with the first plate. When you, after finishing the first plate, you discover that you can still eat more. You are not yet filled. You start with the second plate. You finished it. About to start with the third one, you discover that you can no longer absorb more food. At that point, we say you are saturated. Now, the solubility in terms of the quantity you have eaten is the quantity of food, the mass of the food you were able to take before you got filled. So, we say that the solubility of a substance is the quantity of the substance that can saturate a given volume of the solvent. And note, there are factors that determine the quantity of a substance that can dissolve in a given volume of the solvent. The first factor is temperature. You should know that as the temperature of the system, that is the solvent, increases, more of the solutes will dissolve. But when temperature decreases, less quantity of the solute will dissolve. But this is an exception for gases. For gases, the higher the temperature, the lesser the quantity of the gas that will dissolve in the solvent. But for solid substances, the higher the temperature, the higher the quantity that will dissolve. So they are reversed. Okay, here we want to discuss the types of solutions. And remember, what is a solution? A solution is formed when a solute, which is the solid substance, is dissolved inside the solvent. Like when you take a cube of sugar and you dissolve it in water, the sugar is the solvent. The, sorry, the sugar is the solute, while the water is the solvent. When the two of them mix together, the sugar dissolves. The new thing formed is called solution. A solution of what is that? Solution of sugar. That is the one that dissolves inside. Now, we have three types of solutions. The first one is the one we call saturated solution. We have the saturated solution. The second one is the one we call the unsaturated solution. And the third one is the one we call the super saturated solution. Super saturated solution. What is a saturated solution? A saturated solution is a solution that contains as much quantity of the solute it can dissolve at that particular temperature. Remember, the quantity of solute a solvent can dissolve depends on the temperature of the system. So, a particular temperature has a particular quantity of solute it can dissolve as its maximum. 
So when a solution at a given temperature contains exactly this amount of solute it can dissolve at that temperature, we say that the solution is saturated. And in a saturated solution, we say that Q is equal to Ksp. For a saturated solution, Q is equal to Ksp. Now, when you say a solution is unsaturated, it means that the solution contains less than the quantity of the solute it can dissolve. Let's assume at that given temperature, the solution is able to dissolve 10 grams, but the quantity you added inside it or the quantity you dissolved inside it is just 7 grams. That means the solution has not taken enough salt. So this type of solution that contains less than the quantity of solute it can dissolve, such a solution is called an unsaturated solution. And for an unsaturated solution, Q is less than Ksp. The last one is the supersaturated solution. A supersaturated solution is a solution that contains more than the quantity of solute it can dissolve. Look at this. There are three ways. When the solution contains exactly what it can dissolve, saturated. When the solution contains less than it can dissolve, unsaturated. Then when the solution contains more than it can dissolve, supersaturated. And for a supersaturated solution, Q is greater than Ksp. Now let me bring this to your day-to-day -day life activities. Let's just make this rough logic. Look at Q as the quantity of food you have taken. And look at Ksp as the size of your stomach. Now, when the quantity of food, which is Q, you have taken, is equal to the size of your stomach, we say you are okay, you are filled, you are balanced. That is, when both are equal, you are saturated. But when the quantity of food you have taken, which is Q, is lesser than the size of your stomach, you discover that you will still be hungry because you are not yet filled. The quantity of food you have taken, which we assume to be Q, is less than the size of your stomach, which we call KSP. You will still be hungry. And because you will still be hungry, you are unsaturated. But when the quantity of food you have taken, which is Q, is more than the size of your stomach, probably the food was given to you free of charge, and you are asked to take as much as you want. And because you are not a gentleman, you eat more than you can carry. You may even find it difficult to stand up and go because you, are, you have loaded more than you can be able to accommodate. In that case, we say you are super saturated. Those are the three types of solutions. What can cause a solution to be super saturated? Just as a free food can cause you to be overfed, increase in temperature can cause a solvent to dissolve more than it is supposed to carry under normal circumstances. When a solution is saturated, it is having as much as it can dissolve. You come and increase the temperature. If you increase the temperature of the solution by heating, the solvent or the solution becomes hot, then more solute can dissolve. And because more are dissolving, by the time the temperature goes down back to normal, you discover that the solution is now carrying more than it is meant to carry. And for a supersaturated solution, when the temperature is cooled down, precipitation or crystallization takes place. Why? Because the solution can no longer accommodate such high quantity you added at a lower temperature. So it will try to precipitate them out. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share this link with your friends. Thank you.